A new art show was featured at the Dunning Fine Arts Center earlier this year. 72 works of art created by Pinellas County Schools elementary students were accepted and displayed at the center. The first elementary show of its kind. Director of Youth Education Todd Still explained the show, plus other student-oriented features at the center. The partnerships with the Pinellas County Schools system and the art department uh, started probably in 2010. Um, before that, uh, the county always wanted to uh, have children's art exhibits here at the Dunning Fine Arts Center, but we didn't have a, a dedicated gallery space that we could do that. So we, uh, in 2010, when we expanded, we moved the children's area that I'm sitting in now from the west end of the building to the east end of the building, plus we added a dedicated uh, youth gallery so that we can uh, show youth exhibits throughout the year. Uh, the artwork we have, it's called the Creative Start. Um, since there's so many elementary schools in Pinellas County, uh, we've broken it up into two sections where what's currently on display is the schools A through M uh, elementary schools. And then in December, uh, December 21st, uh, we will be opening up the schools N through Z. Um, this is uh, elementary schools. We do two elementary school exhibits, partnership with the county. We do one middle school exhibit, and then we do one high school exhibit. But basically what they do is they go through and they look through all the artwork and they select three uh, honorable mention, and then they select three artistic merit. The three artistic merit are, uh, are the highest awards, and then the county and the PAEA um, award gift cards and such to the artistic merit. So it's a really a great thing. Because we're not able to have on-site receptions with large gatherings, um, but we did find a way to do um, an online Zoom version um, where uh, Jonathan Ogle was able to read out all the participants uh, in the exhibits. And then uh, we had some of the award winners here because we can't have a few people in the galleries. So we had three of the students here to actually receive their awards in person. The area that we're sitting in here now is called the David L. Mason Children's Hands-On Museum. And this opened in 1998 when the Art Center expanded out westward. So this space used to be at the other end of the building. And then in 2010, uh, we received uh, some funds in order to expand, remove the original part of the building, which was here and started in 1975. So in 2010, that section of the building went away. We added multiple studios, a dark room, a children's hands-on museum, and multi-purpose rooms. Uh, the concept in the children's hands-on museum is to uh, partner with our own exhibit process here um, so that in the fall, we have um, exhibits that open up where uh, people can come in from the community, schools can come in for tours, they go into the galleries, they look at actual artwork from local artists, uh, regional, statewide, nationwide, sometimes even international artists. Then they can come down to this space here and they can do activities related to what they've seen in the galleries. And so this year's theme was called Mad Science. And so the exhibits that were opened up in the fall had uh, some kind of tie-in with science. And so the nice thing about art though, is that you can always tie in to whatever it is you're looking for because art finds its way into everything around us. This is our uh, ever popular chalk wall where it's uh, basically a wall that's been painted black and we use uh, fluorescent chalk for the children to uh, draw on it. Uh, we have Dr. Defac uh, clone's head floating in a jar there and then the other empty jars have blinking eyes so that the children can use cues to create their own creatures or monsters that you might find in a mad scientist's laboratory. Um, he basically comes out and talks to you about how to create cool contraptions and funky machines using these connect objects that are on the table in front of you. So this is our green screen theater where you can interact with these videos here. This is, we have dancing skeletons you can dance with. We also have um, a mad science one with music, and then we also have a dancing Frankenstein, which is he's dancing to the monster mash. So when you come into the green screen theater area, um, you stand here in front of the green screen, and then um, you can look up there and see yourselves on the monitors. 
What's fun about this though is that there's monitors out there in the children's hands-on area and people don't realize that they can be seen throughout the whole space. So people are in here dancing and having a great time and everybody can see them.